Okay, just a quick heads up before this video begins. It will contain spoilers from the manga, so obviously if you're an anime only, or if you don't want to get spoiled, just don't watch the video. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's just a quick disclaimer, and with that said, let's get right into the video. Reg lost his memories when Rico zapped him with electricity, and actually it was stated that that electricity was enough to completely black out almost all of the entire Orph city. As a consequence of this, it meant that Reg lost all of his memories. Then, one of the first questions that Reg asked once he awoke was, what did I come to the surface for? Now this is actually a serious issue, because although it seems at the moment in the Maiden Abyss storyline that there's nothing wrong with the surface, actually if you think about it, the surface is in serious trouble. Remember the birthday disease that causes people to die on the day of their birthdays? And it's been theorised that it's to do with the curse of the abyss? Well, perhaps Reg actually came to the surface to stop this disease. When people on Orph die, they actually get thrown into the abyss, and often eternal fortunes and other sort of various items are thrown in as well for the ceremony. And when Reg is actually on the sixth layer, um, he's walking away from Fapita, I believe it is. And basically he's walking, and then he, all of a sudden all these petals and name tags start falling down. And it wasn't ever said, but obviously this is most likely from the people who are, who are dying on the surface. But this wasn't just one or two name tags, there were loads and loads of name tags. In fact, Rag even said that they're falling at a speed so fast that you can't even see them. So there's a lot of people dying on the surface. And Reg also says, what the hell is happening up on the surface? Um, might have not been those exact words, but something serious is happening up there. How are all these people dying? Again, hasn't been stated yet. My personal theory is that it's because of this birthday disease, and that people are actually dying because of the birthday disease. Now, what does this all have to do with Reg? I mean... Well, you have to ask, what exactly is Reg, to answer this question? Now, to answer that question of what or who is Reg, again, this is just me theorising a lot here, because we aren't really that far into the story, or if we are quite far, because we don't know when it's going to end, not a lot of information has really been uncovered. So, again, what is Reg? Now, in Chapter 44, um, He's called an interference unit by someone who appears to also be made by the same creator as Reg. Again, that's not confirmed, but I mean, I'm gonna put a picture up and you'll see what exactly what I'm on about. They know each other, although Reg obviously lost his memory, so he can't remember. Now, interference units are apparently people who observe and interact in order to gain knowledge. Now, we're not exactly sure who they're gaining this knowledge for, but again, this is just me theorising. It's possible that they're gaining this knowledge for their creator, who might be at the bottom of the abyss or something. Something really cool like that. So yeah, they might be gaining knowledge for their creator, and it's possible that Reg actually had to go to the surface to gain knowledge on this birthday disease and then he was going to come back to the bottom of the abyss and give it to his creator. Now what I find particularly interesting about this, I mean, the, you would think that like re the reason Red came to the surface would be really mysterious and really cool and like some amazing reason, uh, but then you just sort of feel like, oh, he's went to the surface to look at a birthday disease, like how cool is that? Like it's not. <laughs> but actually there is a lot of mystery involved in this because that means who sent Reg, and who is his creator? We know that Reg came from the bottom of the abyss, um, and he actually came from layer 7, I believe, because in Liza's letter that she sent up to the surface, she said, like, at the start of the seventh layer, I spotted this weird humanoid creature. And yeah, so there's definitely something at the bottom of the abyss that is sending these robots up, and these interference units to gather information but there's something that I don't quite understand, or this is just me theorising again, but 
Rake said when he met Liza, and I assume he met Liza around the 7th or 6th layer. Um, if I can find the picture, I'll show you. And basically, he, um, he said, I'll be going now, Liza. And that really doesn't say a lot. I mean, it's literally like a few words. But it kind of suggests that maybe Reg has different motives to that of the person who sent him to the surface. And I'll get into what I mean. Because Reg actually saved Rico, right? So he saved Rico, but why would he do that if his objective is to go to the surface? Now this could either be because the person who sent him is actually benevolent, and isn't evil, or it be, could be because Reg is defying the person who sent him, he's defying their orders. And now this could actually mean that Reg's made a serious, serious mistake. Let's just assume that he did go to the surface for this to investigate this birthday disease. Now what is he doing? He hasn't investigated the birthday disease, and instead he's heading all the way back down to the bottom of the abyss. Now eventually, he might end up meeting his creator, and <laughs> he's either like, not only has he now just left millions of people, well I, I say millions, it's probably not millions, but all of the people on the surface to die from this birthday disease, he's now going back to the bottom, where he's going to meet his creator, and I don't think his creator is going to be very happy when he or she finds out that Reg has not completed his mission but instead finds him there with a random human girl. And not just any human girl, Liza's daughter. Now you'd think, why is why would the creator be irritated because it's Liza's daughter? The creator doesn't know Liza. Or does she? <laughs> because in one of the letters, um, Ozen said this isn't Liza's handwriting and something else is at the bottom of the abyss with Liza. So, again, I have pretty much no idea what could be happening at the bottom of the abyss. Perhaps Liza and the, the person who is at the bottom of the abyss behind everything. Um, perhaps they had a fight and they, there was a battle or something. I think that's just snowballing, but, you know, it could be something along those lines. And, <laughs> yeah, and then if all of a sudden the daughter of the person you hate the most shows up along with your trusted robot who has not completed his mission, you're gonna be angry. <laughs> and now loads of people on the surface are dying at the same time. So yeah, Reg could have really mucked up and he could be in a serious, serious issue right now. Yeah, but we'll just have to see as the story progresses because there's just so much detail in this story. I know a lot of it, like, it just none of it's been unveiled yet. It's like we keep on getting teased every single chapter of a little bit more information, but that little bit more of information just brings up more questions. Well, anyways, that's just my theory on why Red came to the surface. If you have any cool theories, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to hear. Um, so yeah, I'm Anixodus. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.